that the Euphrates River will be channeled into a different direction. So where there was water will come dry. There won't be water flowing through there. And as a result, a mountain of gold will be revealed. Rasul mentioned gold literally, Zahab. Jabal min Zahab. So lots of gold will be revealed. To the hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari, in which the Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, that the river, Sungai River, the river Euphrates, Furat, which is in Iraq, eh? the river Euphrates will uncover a mountain of gold. A mountain of gold from underneath the river. A mountain of gold. And people will fight over that gold. And 99 out of every 100 would be killed. Indicating that this would not be conventional warfare. No. This has to be nuclear warfare. For 99 out of every 100 combatants to be killed. And therefore, we would be on fairly good foundations if we were to suggest that the Malhama would be fought for the mountain of gold. Those who will fight for the mountain of gold will all be saying, I will be the one who will survive. But the Prophet said that the Muslims who are present at that time should not touch the gold. Should not touch the gold. So if we obey the Prophet, والسلام, the implication would be Muslims would not be involved in fighting in the Malhama. The Malhama will involve others who are not Muslims or those Muslims who disobey the Prophet They will be part of the Malhama. So, that a mountain of gold will come out from underneath the river. Those of you who want to have tafsir, you can wait for a long, 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 long time. Huh? That one day somebody will be there with a pan and they will find a nugget of gold. And that will be the sign that the mountain of gold is going to come out now from underneath the river. That's the tafsir. There are a hadith which are given in the form of mutashabihat and they have to be subjected to ta'wil. So the flying donkey, we know, the flying donkey is here. It's the modern aircraft. Hmm? 